beautiful Monday morning. Uh, let's have a smashing week, guys. I am going to just quickly talk through Bitcoin, what it's doing and what I think uh, might happen next and what would be ideal if it happened next. Right now, we're stuck in a range, crabbing and basically frustrating everybody. Nothing uh, exciting is happening. Uh, volume is uh, dry. And we're just looking at Bitcoin stuck in this little crabby slow walk uh, since the start of January. This reminds me a bit uh, what happened again around this area where we saw this big sharp drop here we were crabbing went up a small bit and another sharp drop down that's not to say this is exactly what's going to happen but it has similar vibes around the same time you can see uh, the volume was dropping down we are dropping down in volume here I am not a fan of projections and press predictions in terms of long term i like to stick to the zone and i'm going to break down the zone for you right now and stick more to that basically i think it isn't good for anybody really to look at uh, what is going to happen in the future because it's impossible to predict also, sticking to certain price points messes with our heads. I think thinking of Bitcoin at 100k, 200k isn't really doing a lot of favours. When it happens, it happens. Let's have it. Fantastic. But think about how many traders trade around the price and how they rely on the price and think... If Bitcoin doesn't go to this price, oh, I'm going to, I don't know, <laughs> lose it all or whatever. Do you know, I'm going to lose my marbles, uh, etc. Um, it's it's not what I do. I totally don't care. I don't hold Bitcoin. I sometimes trade it if there is a nice momentum. But I couldn't care less what price it is. Obviously, it rules the market, so we have to look at it. And I'm going to, like I said, break down the zone um, closer to you in a second. I'm just going to pull up my indicators here on the daily. My first and foremost, uh, most favorite uh, is Tino Traders Reality. And as you can see here, we are below all the emas this is after crossing yeah the infamous death cross yeah <laughs> um and we are just not doing anything to get above them but that's the daily outlook like i said i only just look at it to have a clear idea where we're at in terms of the structure um and I will also show you my newest toy, the Asteroid Build and Comet. And as you can see, we are in the red part. And the belt is also pointing downwards. We're at a crossover. As you can see, I like how sometimes the indicators, I don't um, necessarily use them all. I have a list of them. But when I use them as confluence and how they all cross over, it is just brilliant. So you can see uh, this is a trend line uh, that gets moved around a lot. Uh, that's our support here. And the belt also uh, and the comet are also coming close uh, to this level. So losing 42,000 wouldn't be uh, ideal. <clears throat> because like I said I just want to point out one thing when we had that drop here we grabbed we pushed up up pushed up a small bit and then we fell below those scary wicks tend to be uh, reclaimed and as you can see that was this time around also 
reclaimed. But in here, when that happened, we dropped lower. I'm not ruling out dropping lower, but this is again something I'm not concentrating on right now. I like to look at a short term place and base my trades on that. Um, also, just want to clarify something um, outside of uh, Bitcoin. A lot of people are asking me what way I trade and when I am telling you do not trade the weekends and then I break the rule. Now, when I say I don't trade the weekends is I don't enter spot or leverage positions that are just an intraday or maybe sometimes only a few hour plays um, on those days. There's uh, other days when the market conditions are better, when I prefer to do it and concentrate. But I will enter a spot, swing trade, something I will hold for maybe another week, two, three, maybe a month, just so that I get to a certain price point based on the bullishness of the coin. I've post posted a recent place. I bought a few bags now uh, over the weekend. I think they'll do well uh, in, in the next few weeks. And that's how I base my trades on the weekend. I didn't enter any other um, spot or leverage on those days. But I do spend my time at the weekends uh, on research and um, finding new projects or talking to people about new projects. What? what is happening and what's trending what's coming up and yeah i'll use those days to analyze the charts and analyze the market and might start to seeing so that's just beside the bitcoin wanted just to clarify this for you guys right so just to clear again <clears throat> have a clean um chart for you on a smaller time frame let's get to the one hour so you can see guys we have been walking that line uh, in and around that zone for days now. Days. Excruciating um, zone. Frustrating for everybody. Uh, whoever is uh, invested or looking at Bitcoin and that price action and moving it from this zone. Uh, that didn't stop many alts popping here and there. That's why I prefer my alts than Bitcoin. But again, back to the point where Bitcoin rules a, a lot of uh, of the market. It's the king, as we call it. So that line is our direction at the minute. It doesn't ma uh, mean that it's not going to get broken. It can easily be broken and we will see more low. But to bring a little better uh, idea and clarify the view for us, I'm going to bring up the indicators in a second. Just want to highlight the uh, points where you should be marking also on your charts. 45,500, obviously 50,000. And these are my um, little um in points of interest that's just uh 42,000 41,000 and 49,600 just to that line uh I always do a zone by zone let's say range to range rather than um like I said concentrating on a massive price action that we're definitely headed one direction or we're definitely headed one uh next the other direction let's just deal with what we have right now and then we can talk uh, other uh, other um targets in the future right so apologies my tino and his indicator guys this indicator is free okay this man is honestly if you don't follow him and if you don't, I 100% anybody who's talking about trading, watch Traders Reality Tino. Um, if you want to understand trading in the zone, he's your guy. He's your guy. It, he explains like nobody else. Look how 50 
200 and 800 where they are right now 5 and 13 they're there as well the smaller emas they are all stuck together we are walking that line and right now we're being yeah driven demented by the spikes up and down and just that little crabby walk something has to give right so the next thing to look out for is the breakout whether it's going to be a breakout to the upside or down you need to just wait and see however this is our zone to look out for 44,000 sorry and 300 but there's also liquidity to grab lower we have some low, uh, some liquidity here and obviously the wicks um, love to be grabbed back again this is our last week low guys uh, just to mark that also on your um, charts short and sweet guys I'm not going to talk about massive predictions here but uh, just look out if we break to the upside the next big resistance is 45 and a half thousand think about it as well as a round number and how it is a psychological level this is going to come down lower and it will act as a resistance that line is marked here also for a reason i'm going to show you real quick how many times we've tapped off this point here before we dropped down this was tested one two three for five times at least we eventually broke below it and if we head back up it will be a big one to break away from we're not there yet but keep an eye this is the price that you want to see broken and strongly moved away from build your support next scenario obviously is the down scenario we are right now below the 50 and the 200 and we're hitting our head that trend line is there guys but you know yourself trend lines can be broken anytime it's just a nice indication what we were kind of doing here more or less and how the price action was playing out I showed you where more or less we can um, find the next liquidity meaning if the price gets pushed below where they're going to be looking to make their money <coughs> grab and um, reclaim the zones from previous uh, shorts that were built, being built just real quick my comment And the belt we're going to see that zone a little bit better and you can uh, honestly I'm, I'm in awe I love the indicator I'm not gonna be teaching you about it but I'm definitely gonna be using it to my um, best abilities uh, for trading so let's just wait and see guys what happens and what plays out here and uh, at the minute I don't recommend trading i don't recommend um definitely not not leveraged um leveraging anything it, he will get trapped it's like this isn't even a zone it's 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 a mind game um it's 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 definitely designed to trap as many uh traders as possible those spikes up and bringing it back down below in a tight range uh, around the emas it's not uh, a, a good idea don't be don't be trying to be a hero catching the bottoms um or tops whether you want to long or short just take it slow guys use your monday to learn educate plan ahead um see what you want to do next uh, what you want to, um, where you would like to enter your trades, where would you like to exit them and make that plan, trade the plan. Today has to play out and let's see how the rest of the week um, 
uh, how the rest of the week pans out and what happens. So yeah, that was me. Um, I hope you found it um, useful. Give me your thoughts and I'll do my best guys to do more updates from this week on and definitely be more active on YouTube as well. All the best. <laughs>